Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. You look very dapper today. Mickey Mouse says, let's get going. It is Mickey Mouse's birthday today. And these are our outfits. So here we are. I got a bow tie, I got my bug, got my hat and my feather. She's got her cute dress and her cute gloves and her cute hair. We are Ray and Evangeline. Yes. Yes. So it's just, which is fun because you never really like, Evangeline's a star, and Ramon is Ray's a bug, and then he becomes a star. He's from the Bayou. He's, He's from the Bayou. Fancy. Well, she could be from the Bayou too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Ray is eventually a star. And. Evangeline's a little mysterious. So we are going to go and meet Tiana because duh. Duh. It's our first day, so we don't even know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out. And we haven't been to Rope Drop at Magic Kingdom in forever. Look how beautiful it is. We're in a predicament because our sloppy usual park selves who are sweaty and greasy and don't care about nothing but having the best amount of fun wouldn't care about eating our breakfast on this moist garbage can but now that we've got our nice clothes on it's a little bit difficult to enjoy having uh enjoy having our normal breakfast on a garbage can Take for yes what's coming what's coming what's coming that we haven't seen in forever Woo, she thinks she's fancy the christmas trolley show that's not on a trolley today these two little girls were in starbucks with us they've watched our channel before they're dressed up as the trolley girls no, thank you though. So if it wasn't cool enough that we got to watch the Charlie show, because it's literally probably my favorite thing about Magic Kingdom. And the first time we've seen it since it's been Christmas. Yes, and one of like, because we watching things like that repetitively, we've like learned the faces of some of the cast members that perform in those, and one of my favorite girls in there ran over afterwards and was like, oh my god, are you Ray and Evangeline? I didn't think anybody in the entire world would think or know who we are. And our favorite, one of my favorite dancers did. It's amazing. We ready to see? Oh, this is where we're waiting. Yeah. I hope they don't forget about us. We have a firefly and oh, an right. evening star. And Evangeline, you're yes. pretty mighty dapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I was going to say? Your dress kind of reminded me of the dress that I wore when I opened that. Exactly. I've seen that one. <laughs> a little bit of inspiration. All you need is a brother. I know. Nice way to start the morning. The nice riverboat. Look how beautiful. Maybe it'll do. Maybe they'll bring it back one day. Look at how beautiful the whole thing is. It's literally the perfect morning. We didn't even realize that we'd be able to take advantage of. Well, to be honest, I didn't know that the park would be this slow. Like, there's not a lot of like guests going on the attractions per se. There's a good amount of. We're seeing more and more Dapper Day people, but they're not really enjoying the attractions as much. They're going around taking photos and everything. But we'll get that done, but come on. 15 minute Haunted Mansion ride after meeting characters and doing a... Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. And we've got a... What's our Fast Pass? Dumbo. We got a Dumbo Fast Pass right after this. Can't pass up on that. 
Dapper Dapper everywhere. Look at those two. Legit, zoom in and look at them. There's so many, so many dapper people around. And even right here, this little lady. Guys, there are some amazing outfits today. It's funny because like, I can't even, like I see a lot of people taking like spinning photos. Like this and then a spinning dress. It's a shifty, shifty dress. Hop on in. The little kids gotta go in the, in the inside. Going down the bayou. Going no, down the bayou. Going 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 down the bayou. We came up, we got off on the on the main street station to go look at the, the see the 11 o'clock stage show. But we decided to take a look and people watch and there's like people dressed up as the trolley performers. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. <laughs> We're just kind of people watching up here. You're celebrating this day. Happy birthday, Mickey! Happy Allow well, me to introduce my new pals from the land of the bewitching bayou, Louis, Prince Naveen, and Princess Tiana. It's great to meet you. And a bewitching bayou. Sounds like a swinging good time to me. Hit it, Louis. Look at all these adorable and well thought out outfits. Cats that was like little kids involved. Super cute. There's four people here that are the four portraits from the portrait room of Haunted Mansion. Like to the T. So we, we're in a weird moment. We're not sure what to do because our uh, reservation's in an hour and ooh. I gave a hint away. We're going somewhere at 1.30 that we need a reservation. What do you think of Jungle Cruise? Yeah, happy Debra Day. Right. Happy Debra Day. What did you think of the Jingle Cruise? First time. Well, Sarah loved. I kept on poking him. Like, did you hear that? Did you get it? Did yeah. You know it? And I was like, I am. I'm right here. We just made an amazing discovery. We forgot that they redo these windows to be Mickey's Christmas Carol. So we're gonna check them all up. But it reminds us at home. There's at Marshall Fields or Macy's on State Street. They do Christmas windows. Yes. So version of it so make sure you go when you're here during the holidays you check out all the windows because it's the whole story of Mickey's Christmas Carol this is clue number one to what we're going to do we're on a boat we're on a boat here is clue number two what resort are we in we're at the Grand Florida of course so people have been asking us to like just briefly explain what Dapper Day is because some people have never heard of it before and what it is, it's it started off by like deciding a day that everybody would dress up like they would have back when the parks opened and the whole the original like I think it was like some friends that decided to do it one one time. Mm -hmm. They saw a, an old concept painting, like the original concept painting of Future World of Epcot, and saw like the awesome outfits they were in, and they were like, hey. Don't you wish people still dressed like that, like wore your Sunday best to the theme parks? Because it was like an event to go to Disneyland or Disney World. Right. So that's kind of like where the idea sparked. And so since then it is evolved into dressing your best in any time era. So like for instance, today we're dressed like in the 20s. I've seen girls who had done outfits that were inspired by Clueless in the 90s. So now it's just, you know, whatever you want to do here your best wear from that dapperest Yes, outfit. they can be just dapper inspired, they can be park inspired, movie inspired, or just like fun outfits. They don't have to be like a character spiffy. or a movie. It can just be spiffy. Yeah, and, and now, it's not a costume. It's, it's You're actually wearing something that somebody would be wearing during that time to go out in public. And it's not run by Disney, but it's definitely embraced by Disney for the time being. Like, there's a Dapper Day website, and they organize with the parks to do, like, there's a special meetup last night at Disney Springs. They're Expos. allowing, like, there's an expo out in Disneyland that was yeah. a couple weeks or months Small ago. Small shops can sell oh. different pieces. Like, you know, some people might not be from an area where you can get a headband or long gloves. Like, obviously, there's the internet, but they have different events where you can purchase items. Like and I think they've expanded to Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland Paris for certain. I think they might be in, there's a movie, might be Dapper Day in Disney. Okay, but I feel like I've seen people like... I was on the website the other day and I was like really, I was like, I was really impressed with the website. I was like, oh my god, there are in other places besides Disney World and Disneyland. I remember Paris for certain. Yeah. 
so there is usually a spring and a fall event. Today is at Magic Kingdom, but there's also an event tomorrow at Epcot. But I, I know one year was at Hollywood Studios, so it kind of just depends on um, what they choose. What's going on? There's a group photo at 3.30, I think, at the park. Yeah. Um, we're still deciding if we're going to go back to do that. Um, I want to go back and do Splash Mountain. I know. The Garden View Lounge. Twinnings of London. So that is our final clue, but you don't have much time to think about it because... Where are we going? We're going to do the Garden View Tea Room for the afternoon tea. Oh, We've wanted to do this for literally years. When we came down in February, we had actually had it booked, but we canceled it because Dom and Victoria ended up being here, here at the same yeah, time, and I couldn't... A friend's trip. Yes, and I couldn't. I called to ask to adjust it from two people to four people and they weren't available at the time, so we just canceled it. But we've never done this. We've seen C Real Soon do this a million times, other other Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, but we've seen it a million times. We've always just wanted to do it in general. I'm super excited. Sarah doesn't even like tea. You never know, I might have gone. Are you excited? Did you look at the desserts? You have to choose a dessert. Now look at the house made pastries. Strawberries or seasonal English truffles. Truffles. Look at these dishes. What kind of tea did you get? An apple something or But you got a, it's a white tea, I believe. And I got a black tea, but it's gingerbread, so it's infused with these, it's Chinese and Indian black tea. So You look glamorous right now with your outfit and like the background of the Grand Floridian sunlit and out of focus. Like this is a, you're a movie star. Dessert. It's $35 a person. If you want to add champagne, it's $50 a person. If you want to add fruits, plates, fruit and cheese, it was $50 a person. That's like no champagne. And then it's $150. It was $150 per couple. To get caviar. To get caviar. So you just got the lowest option. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this plate. Here's our first course. And they actually give you your second course, which is these two, and then you swap it out, and this is our desserts. But look at that, that Grand Floridian logo in the powder. Oh. And I've got my gingerbread. Sarah's got, what kind of you get? Apple something or other? Apple. Yeah. Doesn't this look super good? Yeah. So delicious looking. I can't wait to bite that, and that, and I can't wait to bite that, and that. That doesn't even look appetizing, but I'm still going to take a bite of it because it's so good. And that, and that. And that. And look at these cute bags that keep your tea hot because you get four to five cups. Sarah never drinks tea. I drink tea. I, I, have, I you know what I have it since. Tea lemonade with two pumps of sweet and two pumps of raspberry. <laughs> That's my Starbucks. But I like like just authentic tea. Like my old supervisor was from the Philippines and she used to get me like good tea from our cousins. All right, we're taking a a pit stop just to talk about this. What was your favorite so far? This tomato, oregano, cheese. That's what the other half of that was. And this is pear, super delicious with blue cheese. Really good balance. That is curry, but not strong. It's really good flavor. This is, I keep calling eggplant, this is egg salad. Super good, but like normal. I'd say it's nothing crazy. This was super good if you're a cucumber fan. I love cucumbers. And this, so the tomato is my favorite, just like Sarah, but my second favorite was this onion tart. It's super good, really good. You have to like onion. My second favorite. I feel like you like the curry. Yeah, you, you, you were pretty jazzed about the curry. So I'm gonna show you the next course. It's the scone, it's a pumpkin cranberry scone for Thanksgiving. And I forget what's inside this, but it's a tart. I'll let you know once. Take a bite. And then these are the jams and the custard that come with it. Have had a little bit of everything so far. Each bite is better than the next. The scone and the tart, so good. Yeah. So good. I love the apricot. And I can't even tell what the other flavor is. It's like a caramely deliciousness. Super good. Super good. So what'd you think? I'm so proud of you for drinking all that tea. I drink my whole cup. You're not a you're not a tea gal. I like tea with flavor. That has flavor, it's just different flavor. You're gonna get, Sean and Caroline are gonna, are gonna send you some messages about proper tea etiquette. I probably should have been like sitting up straighter. 
<laughs> I thought it was really good. It was 35 bucks a person. Oh, nice. Definitely if it's up your alley. It's a lot more cold than I thought it was. I came pretty hungry. Um, I could have had like more of a sandwich, but I'm a dessert, so it's fine. But I thought that I was going to be like hungry, yeah. like appetized by like the smaller things. All afternoon, I kept saying to myself, Peter, pick up the camera, vlog playing with Eve, vlog you doing the dishes, vlog you taking headache medicine because you have a headache, vlog, vlog, vlog at home because I want to show more home vlogs and show you more of what we do at home. Um, at the, when we're there. Fast forward somewhere between six and a half to seven hours and uh, we're back. <laughs> we're back on Disney property. We just parked at Magic Kingdom. We actually used the parking lot because we just did. Got a good spot we can walk. If you can listen. It is after nine o'clock. That is the water pageant going on right now. And we're coming back for one thing and one thing only. Splash Mountain! <laughs> we're in line, and the line's not bad at all. It said 20 minutes, but we were really backed up, and I was nervous it was going to be longer. But we've been rolling. I don't yeah. think there's a lot of fast pass going on. And they don't like to go over the How do you feel, Sarah? We did we did two Splash Mountains, and once once was during the fireworks that are going on right now. Woo! Talk about timing. <laughs> you can hear it. Sarah, short term dreams that she's had for about three weeks now. And we're doing the standby queue, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. We've done it a long time. We haven't done the standby queue in a long time for Peter Pan. Take a gander. Hallway goals. Look at the suspicious painting. And look at this suspicious sweater. Shines in the light for you. All right, guys. We did Peter Pan, but we gotta go in a little soapbox. For anybody who watches any of our videos and who comes to Disney World, just understand that it's okay. That there are there are good days, there are bad days. There's rainy days. Parades don't go on. Some days parades do go on. Obviously, you go down there and you expect the perfect Disney World vacation, but it's Florida, it rains, there's crowds, it's the busiest place in the entire world, and sometimes things don't go right. But I always tell people, I mean, I mean you can sit there and say, you two live there, so you can just deal with it, whatever. But even when we do live here, like, we've come on vacation and things be ruined, but the thing about us is that we just have the mindset that, like, we're in Disney World, like... You're waiting in line? to go and see figurines from Peter Pan show different scenes from the movie. Like, that should bring you joy. Yeah, so if it takes a little bit longer than it was posted, then it's okay. You're with family, you're with loved ones, you're in an amazing place. If you just sit on a bench for eight hours, like, that's still magical. Like, it's what you make of it. It's not about the fireworks or the parades or the, or the figurines. It's about the atmosphere and embracing being there with your loved ones. So what ended up happening is, we were at a really steady pace until the last quarter, and then we literally sat in one spot for like 20 minutes, and the guests around us lost it. So it's just like, it's perspective, and as much as that man was mad, like his son was with him. Do you think his son, who was seven, and it was his request to go on the ride, now feels good about going on the ride, that his dad screaming at some stranger? How do you enjoy the ride after that? Right, so just embrace who you're with, and... The, Be compassionate the environment. And understanding yes. The environment. <laughs> but just remember, it's about who you're Thoughtful. with and, and you making the experience. Everyone thinks it's the castle that's going to make it, but it's not. It's you and your family and your and loved your ones. Outlook. Uh, yeah. Everything. But with that, we got to go home, rub our 
our dog's belly like a million times and go to bed because holiday around the world at Epcot starts tomorrow. So we gotta get up and we're going early. It's good to be it's home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.